Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to demo review of the IK Multimedia XIO. It's uh, just one input audio interface, it's very affordable and he has a lot of great stuff. Let's check it out. So basically this is it, a small, very small unit from IK Multimedia. It is a great unit and very compact and has everything you need. It has phantom power, starting from the left you have an input knob so you can adjust your gain. Then you have right next to it a Z-tone that can go from bold to sharp. If it's in bold, you will reduce uh, the IM. So I have this spacious patch around here using amplitude five. If I put it on the opposite side, This is real cool if you have a guitar that has two highs or a guitar that is too dark, you can shape the tone here, very effective. Then you have monitor, which is great if you have, uh, nowadays every computer is fast enough, but if you don't have a fast enough computer for tracking, you can put this in direct, so it will have the direct tone, no effects, you know, just hear the guitar. Okay, and this one is going to the DAW. So to hear fully the DAW process the signal, you want it totally to the right, okay? Then you have headphones and the master volume. Now here on the left, you have a small button for phantom power. And it says here, because it also has MIDI in and MIDI out, USB, it's connected via USB right now. Microphone is also, it's a combo jack for microphone with phantom power. And now it's in instrument. There's a... Um, a panel that I'll put a screenshot here somewhere on the video so you can see the pedal software for this unit. Then you have also a knob for passive and active pickups. Right now we're using passive pickups and jet and pure. If you put it in jet, it had a tiny little bit of color and harmonics to the signal. And if you put it on pure, you have a secretary results in a more linear response featuring the absolutely cleanest signal pass possible for best transparency and clarity. So if you want to add some color, go to jet or if you want no color, just your signal with the pure. I'm gonna put it in jet. It does make a difference recording. Now this box has a great feature. It has an amp out here, so you can use this to reamp your tracks, or you can also use it in conjunction with the next pedal to profile your amps. And then there's options for foot switches as well. You can control some stuff here, so it's a great unit. Right now I'm using Amplitude 5 recording in Logic. This was a preset that I've made. It's kind of spacious preset. Let's check out another one with this unit. It's kind of a, it's a Marshall right now. Let's see how it sounds. Now with a different patch, it's also a Marshall. And it sounds like this with a strat. Let's change presets here. And all those emulations you have here in Amplitude or Tonex are amazing. There's very no latency. I can play this like I'm playing with a real amp, all the dynamics and stuff. Okay, another patch here using another Marshall. I'm gonna turn down some 
edge, you know, maybe I have some high end, too much high end, just put it in bold. If I want the opposite situation, just in sharp. So basically this wraps up the video. This is a great unit, very affordable. And as I said before, it's a whole package. You have software that comes with it. Even if it's the SE versions of the software, they already bring a lot to the table and you can do basically everything with this thing. And the fact it has an amp out so you can reamp or use it with Tonax to profile your amps, I'm going to do that for the Katanas very soon, but I'm going to use the actual Tonex capture pedal. But you don't need that. You can do that with this unit. So I hope you enjoy my demo review of the IK Multimedia XIO1 and stay tuned for more. I see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.